this is my introduction to fuck JTubers. So, um, here's what I'm going to do is today is going to be my little introduction and then um, I'm going to make this a series of videos that I'm going to tear apart each and every one of these. Now, I want to be very in sp speaking uh, more general terms in this one. A JTuber is basically some foreigner who lives in Japan and then tries to show off, you know, things about Japan that, you know, weebs would be into. <clears throat> you know, the people who have these, uh, these stereotypes about the country and they don't actually tell you the truth about the entire country at all. Now, this motherfucker has tons of viewers, so that's why I, and I remember his, you know, ID or the, the, the channel name off the top of my head. There are many of these motherfuckers over here. And almost all of them live in fucking Tokyo. There are some that, you know, dwindle out from there. Um, but they usually use Tokyo as their base. Now, this motherfucker's been on national TV in Japan. And also in, in local, I think up in like Sendai or something. Some TV up there, right? Some TV station up there. <clears throat> now, the, th the reason why a foreigner can get on TV over here is if they fit certain criteria of... Uh, foreigner you have to follow you have to fall into all of the stereotypes and if you don't fall into the stereotypes or you try to um, like be original or just be yourself uh, you're basically turned you're, you're basically kept off of TV entirely so any foreigner <clears throat> not the not like the mixed ones because those are like half Japanese right <clears throat> but the ones who are like full foreigner who get on TV like there was one stupid fall comedian named Atsugiri Jason who they made a big deal out of him because his blonde hair blue eyes and went to some Ivy League school and graduated from, from some Ivy League school and was so amazing in Japanese and then he got like onto TV because he was making a stupid joke that went really well in the Monzai circuit <clears throat> and so he was able to get on TV that way and Manzai is like a typical Japanese stand-up comedy. It's nowhere near as fun as like a George Carlin or anything. Um, but the only way someone like this can get on TV in Japan is if they follow, if they fall into the foreigner stereotype that the Japanese media wants to show to everybody else. Okay. And <clears throat> on top of this, this motherfucker will wear his face diapers on his uh, shows, but he makes all his, you know, videos without him. He's probably gotten jabbed <clears throat> because that's just the way it is. They always do collaborations with each other, like this video here. They they collab with each other and they try to, like, boost each other's channels in some way. <clears throat> and then they do these, like, uh, stupid videos here, like, oh my god, there's such a big earthquake. It was a 7.4. It's a big fucking deal. You know what? You, you, um, like, <clears throat> they, they, they just, they pander to a certain group of people, and then because they get popular by pandering to certain groups of people, they, they, um, uh, what is it? They are able to break into, you know, the Japanese like language con like the, the the native Japanese consciousness and this is one of those motherfuckers <clears throat> and the thing is is they call Nagasaki a hidden city no it's not anybody with any right mind knows what the fuck Nagasaki is I've been to Nagasaki okay you know I actually like it it's just you know it's a very different city compared to a lot of cities in Japan I'll just say that um, because that's not what this video is about um <clears throat> now he traveled down there <clears throat> for what you know oh he went to Gunkanjima which I've heard of um, my friend has gone there before multiple times um, it's a national heritage site I think which is another thing these people only show off the mainstream you know like places when they go somewhere they they go to if they go to Osaka it's oh let's go to Osaka Castle oh let's go to the the old World's Fair place uh, or like let's go to um, 
what was it? Uh, Nippon Bashi or something. Um, you know, they they only do this like mainstream garbage that, um, like this. Best places to live in Tokyo. Nobody cares about fucking Tokyo. Fucking Tokyo can suck a dick, okay? Um, but this is what they do: is they like the nightlife, the red light district. Oh, <clears throat> or Japan's best treehouse. Let's, but see, or Japan's gaming obsession. You know, they 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 do all this stuff to pander to certain groups of people, and um, they. They just do all this stupid shit. Now look, look at this. This motherfucker right here. He's, you know, got his face diaper on. And this is, and like going to an abandoned love hotel. I mean, this is, you know, this is the kind of stuff that these JTubers make. It's all a bunch of clickbait bullshit, okay? And I'm going to um, go through like this why you'll hate living in Japan. I mean, come on, please, shut the fuck up, okay? <clears throat> Japan is a nice country within reason, but I'll, you know, that there's, you have to come in with a, you know, um, uh, what is it, um, uh, a different perspective when you come here. Or, like this to it. This video I'm going to watch and I'll use it because I've, I taught English for a long time. This motherfucker probably taught English too because all foreigners do at some point. And like in the, the title it says how um, uh, how to study English and stuff like that. Well, you know, you, you're not going to be able to study English with a government that's trying to, you know, like make sure you don't understand it so you can't find out what's going on in the world, right? <clears throat> like, oh, most expensive hotel room. No, this is the kind of stuff that Paris Hilton used to do, right? On her stupid reality TV show. Just wander around, spend lots of money. S Look at me, I'm so famous. I have so much money. Look at me splurge, blah, 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 blah. You know, this is the kind of shit these fucking JTubers do. And I'm going to go after each and every fucking one of them, okay? <clears throat> I'm going to pick one, maybe one a week, and I'm going to do a... a in deep, in-depth destruction of them. on, And I'm going to show lots of clips from their videos. I'm going to cut them up, and I'm going to show them. And I'm going to say, look, look at what these people are doing. And because this is what, when people watch these dumb motherfuckers, they come to Japan with an entirely different mindset. Like, oh, I have to go see this, this place because this person said so. No. Japan has a lot. You learn a lot more if you, you know, actually know language. You can actually go around by yourself and do things. But the whole thing is they pander. You look at look at his look at all his thumbnails too. They're all clickbait bullshit. So you know, do I make clickbait? No, because I don't want to. I'm not you know I'm not pandering to people. I don't pander to people. It's people like this that make me fucking sick to my stomach. Which is why this is going to be the first in a series of let's get rid of all of these fucking JTubers because they're a bane and they're as bad as the fucking weebs, okay? Um, the, the the weebs are, are already degenerate enough and then you add these motherfuckers into it, you've got a complete, you know, ball of shit. Now, I expect a lot of these JTubers to fucking, you know, like their fans to say something to me if they see me in the the the, the uh in the the search results or something they will come and you know they'll bombard me with lots of dislikes or some shit they'll ratio me or all kinds of shit you know why because they don't live in japan they like out of all these views a hundred and what uh, what one million six hundred thirty thousand views on this video <clears throat> well, you know what? There's not, you know, that many foreigners in Japan, especially right now. You know, this is the kind of shit that drives me crazy about these motherfuckers in Japan. And they they try to pander to, like, you know, 
the the stereotypes then they be get then they get popular so then they start to they have to start obeying the stereotypes that Japan puts on them so they can become famous because the only thing they care about is making money they don't care about having an honest you know like uh, uh, what is it um and they don't have any you know what is, what is the word I'm looking for um they don't have the courage to actually, you know, have their own opinion about something, right? They, you know, like, it's just, like, well, how do you know it's the snowiest town? Can't prove that. That's a, that's a completely, you know, like, uh, subjective point, right? You know, the, these, just this shit, man. I can't stand any of these motherfuckers, and I want to destroy all of them, okay? But... Like this, featuring the anime man. This motherfucker is a weeb too. This the anime man. He's a piece of shit. Okay, just remember that he's a piece of shit. So, um, and you know, grading my friends Japanese. It's, it's not to be graded. Japanese or language in general is about you know like being able to communicate with other people. It's not you know like this special prize that you get okay you worked hard to do it so um to, to gain that ability you don't need to fucking brag about it jesus fucking christ i make mention of it because i want people to understand that i'm like i actually have some you know like morals you know that you know that i want people to know that i can speak the language so that they they trust me as a as a source right and this is I'm looking at it more from a scientific point of view. If people know I speak Japanese, they'll trust me as a source. When I'm reading my news articles and things like that, they'll be like, okay, I can trust this guy to translate things and explain things to us linguistically, so even for those of the those people who don't understand, they will understand, right? And they'll say, okay, this person, he's not holding punches back, he's not, you know, cleaning up his language just because, you know, he wants to be, you know, like clean or something like that, right? You know, it doesn't fucking matter to me. I'm I'm in my 40s. I don't fucking care. Like young the it just doesn't bother me. And I don't and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't keep me awake at night, right? So, you know, but these people are revolting <clears throat> and I plan to do a nice attack on as many of them as I can. Hopefully I can do one a week. I'll start probably next week because I got other stuff I want to do this week. But um, I will be going after these motherfuckers. And I don't know if I'll do him first or I'll do another one. <clears throat> but I I will be going after them and because I think that they deserve to be attacked for perpetuating things that make other foreigners look bad in Japan and other foreigners... Are treated differently because of people like this so and I don't like that so they can fuck off so um, look forward to me going after these motherfuckers okay see you in the next video